it's been three minutes. Once again, I give my hands a quick ethanol. Go to the incubator, get your flask. What you should be seeing is the cells rolling off the surface. You probably won't be able to see it here on the movie, but what I do is take that trypsin and I do what I call tap and tilt. And that helps loosen the cell monolayer off the flask. And then you look at it underneath the microscope and what you should be seeing is your cells tumbling through the trypsin. And they were, they were all off the flask. They were nice and round and just uh, free flowing through the trypsin media. Now, trypsin you have to neutralize and you have to neutralize it with media that contains serum. So this media here has FBS in it. You have to use an equal or greater amount of your media to neutralize the trypsin. So we had one and a half mils of trypsin in there. Uh, this flask happened to be about 90% confluent, which is probably somewhere between four and five million HeLa cells. What I'm going to do is add three mils of media. So I'm doubling the amount of media that I'm adding compared to the amount of trypsin. But if you wanted a really concentrated cell suspension, you'd only use one and a half mils. And you add it down the side. Now you need your, you still have some cells way up here in your flask. You have them all across the surface. You need to wash them down. So you suck up all that media and you gently squirt it out into all the corners to wash down all the cells into the corner. Now I pipette up and down probably about three, four times to break up any cell clumps that may be present. Now you're ready to do your hemocytometer counts. Remember I said there's 300 microliters of tripan blue in this tube. I like to do a one to four. So I'm going to add 100 microliters of tripan blue to that tube. So I go back in here, suck up and down a couple of times. And this is a little tricky, but now you want to expel the cell suspension until you are at 100 microliters. Sometimes you got to do it a couple times till you hit it right. There we go. So I have my cell suspension that I want to count. I'm adding it to the tripan blue. And I flick that to mix it. You need to incubate this for about five minutes in order for the non-viable cells to absorb the tripan blue dye. And so I just set it aside. I move my stuff backwards. Remember, this is your flask with your cells in it, so you want to make sure you hold on to it until you recede onto new flasks. Um, just a word about being in the hood. When You'll notice that when I took caps off, I did this sort of move. I find I can do this with my hands. Some people find it uncomfortable. If you set down a cap, set it in back of the bottle and do not set it down in this direction, always on the back side of the cap. Same with your flask. You, you may not be comfortable dealing with flasks this way. If you set the cap down, make sure the opening is facing up and that you don't set it flat down on the surface. What happens if your cap rolls off? You're, you put it on and it does one of those. So now you're in a tough place because it landed how I told you not to have it land. So some people will take a Kim wipe, soak it with ethanol, and um, kind of clean that rim. It's hard to know whether that's going to cause more problems than it's going to correct. I, most of the time, because I keep my, cell surf or my hood surface clean, I always have my blower on, I hope for the best and just put it back on.